How to check your pulse. Checking your pulse allows you to determine your heart rate without any special equipment. This can be useful if you're trying to lose weight or you have a brain condition. Read on to find out how easy and painless it is to check your pulse. Number 1 Finding and Recording Your Pulse Use your index finger and middle finger when finding your pulse. Don't use your thumb, as its own pulse is strong enough to interfere with your reading. Find the radial pulse. This is the pulse on the side of the wrist nearest your body. Use the pads of your fingers. Place them just below the wrist creases on the thumb side. Press lightly until you feel the blood pulsing under your skin. If necessary, move your fingers around a bit until you feel the pulse. It's there, just not always easy to locate. Find the carotid pulse. To feel a pulse on the side of the neck just below the jawline, place your index and middle fingers in the hollow between the windpipe and the large muscle in the neck. Press lightly until you feel a pulse. This is sometimes easier than finding the pulse in your wrists. Number 2. Check and record your heart rate. Use a watch or clock with a second hand or digital second display. Count the number of times you feel a throb for 1 minute, 60 seconds. This is the most accurate method. If you're in a hurry, you could count the beats you feel for 15 seconds and multiply by 4 or count beats for 30 seconds and multiply by 2. These options will work but are not quite as accurate as counting for a full minute. Number 3. Establish your normal heart rate. The normal resting heart rate for an adult is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Normal heart rate for children under 18 is 70 to 120 beats per minute. 1. This applies to a person who is at rest. Any physical activity will increase the pulse rate. Number 4. Check the strength of the pulse to see if it is strong or weak. The strength of your pulse cannot be calculated precisely, but experienced professionals will characterize a pulse as weak, faint, strong, or bounding. This is an indication of the health of the heart and vascular system. Number 5. Check the rhythm of your pulse. You're looking for regularity of pulsations and the pauses between them. If your pulse is steady, note it as regular. If you detect a skip or other fluctuation in the pulse, it may be termed irregular. This is not necessarily a cause for alarm, but if you note a consistent irregularity, you should seek medical advice, as noted below. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.